Oh God, it was rough. Holy shit. Oh, am I too old for this? I don't know. So here is a little update on 5K training. Um, if you don't know, I was running back in right around the time of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And I did do a virtual 5K because once the lockdown happened, um, all the 5Ks went virtual. So I did that. And then I think just with all the stress, I kind of slacked off and stopped. And so I wanted to get back into it and do a 5K. So I did do a 5K at the first of the year and walked most of it, but finished it. And then same in the beginning of April, um, walked most of it. So, and I knew I had to take it more seriously and really build up my endurance. So I tried going out and running for any decent length of time and it was not going to happen. You're probably wondering, well, you did seem to run quite a bit. Well, I ran a fair amount in the uh, two 5Ks. And that's because when you do a 5K, you get caught up in the enthusiasm of the race. And so you kind of push yourself a little bit more than you would probably normally. So that's what happened there. I'm looking at my planner. Okay. Um, so I knew I had to start from square one sorry. Uh, so last week was my first week really taking it more seriously. And what typical week will look like is, and this is going to be probably for the next four to six weeks, is it'll be running walking intervals and the run portion will increase and the amount of intervals will change so that it's a total of about 30 minutes. Um, and then two of the days, so that's four days, and then two of the days will be walking. So typically right now, the intervals are, for me, are Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday's a rest day, and then Wednesday and Friday are my walking days. So last week, and you're gonna be thinking, this is this is so easy, right? So yeah, last week was pretty easy, one minute runs with two minute walks in between for a total of 30 minutes. And it was pretty easy. Um, I did twist my ankle a little bit going down the stairs at our house. And so I am getting some stiffness in my um, ankle and I'm feeling it. And, but I did okay. And I put in, um, I think it was 10.97 miles last week. Um, most of the time on the interval days, it's two miles. And then on the walking days, it's like one and a half miles. This is the beginning of week two, because it's Tuesday. And it was just two minute runs with one minute walks in between. I wanted to die. It was so rough. I don't know why. Um... I did eat quite a bit of pizza last night. And I'll talk more about that when I do my weigh in because I was kind of actually surprised, pleasantly surprised. But, um, but yeah, I don't know why, but it was a rough day. And I do know I've had in the past rough days with running, you think, oh, this is easy. This is easy. And then for some reason it's extremely difficult. So, um, this week, what it'll be is like today was two minute runs with one minute walks in between for a total of 30 minutes. Tomorrow's a walk day. Friday will be a walk day. And then Thursday, I'm looking at my notes again. Sorry. Um, this is what I'm not looking forward to. Three minute runs with one minute walks in between finishing off with a two minute run for a total of 30 minutes. And then Saturday and Sunday will be four minutes and one minute. But 
it actually looks like, yeah, yeah, it's still 20 minutes. Holy moly. I don't know. But yeah, and it's just to kind of build up my endurance so I can be back at a point where I can run a full, you know, 30 minutes straight and um, be okay with it. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I am trying to fuel properly. I am trying to fuel properly, get plenty of protein, but at the same time not have a lot of calories because I am trying to lose weight because I'm sure being overweight is not helping at all. So um, one of the other things I'm not doing, and I was going to do it, but at this point in time, I'm not going to start yet. And that is strength training, uh, especially the legs or anything like that, because I have a lot to do in the yard and stuff. So that's going to, that's a workout in itself. I spent two hours out there weeding. Oh my God. I want the rain to stop. We're getting more rain this week. So anyway, but that's what I've been up to. That's what I've been doing. And this week is a rough start to the week. And hopefully I was just stiff from yesterday being a rest day and eating too much pizza. Could be that I'm getting old. I don't know. Um, so hopefully after tomorrow's walk day, um, Wednesday won't be so rough and it'll be more doable. But that's just kind of give you an idea of what it is um, I'm doing and where I'm going with this week. The following week is going to be a little bit different because I am going to do a virtual 5K on that Friday, which is normally a walk day. So I'm going to have to skew things a little bit. And I'll tell you how I'm going to approach that in the next time I give a 5K update. So that's it for now and if you want to see what I'm eating I'm trying to post what I eat each day um, on my Instagram and I'll leave a like my little Instagram handle right here handle oh my god it's nine o'clock at night and I'm tired um, you can kind of see uh, heads up today was a Jamba Juice because I think I was dehydrated and felt like crap. Like I said, it was a rough day. And I think I probably shouldn't have worn a long sleeve. Even though I thought it would be colder than it was. Anyway. Um, and then I had some eggs and toast later on. And then it's Taco Tuesday. So pork and beef tacos. That's what I had. So, hmm. That's it. Anyway, that's it for my 5K update and what I did last week and what I plan on doing this week. And I will keep you updated next time. That makes no sense. I'm tired. I'll see you in the next one. Next one will probably be a weigh-in update. So, bye. <laughs>